Hello everyone, it's Kelsey here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Budget Better Life, where I budget, cash stuff, and save for a less stressful, more enjoyable life. If that sounds great and you can relate, then keep watching. Alrighty guys, so today we are cash stuffing bills, sinking funds. Yes, you heard me right, some sinking funds. And my cash spending wallet for week three of July. Wow, I almost said June. Can you believe it? We're already into week three of July. Like this month is flying by. But anyways, um, let's get right into this cash. Count how much we have to work with. Alrighty, so we have 1, 2, 53, 54, 55, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 99. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1,000, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. That is correct. We have 1,050 to work with today. So let me just set this up. Alrighty, and so this money comes from our small business income. We have a cleaning business, my wife and I, and she is mostly working the business. I am mostly staying home here with our son, and I now have an Etsy shop, which is very exciting because I am actually going to be able to help to bring an income to the family, which is really exciting for me. But we tend to get most of our invoices paid towards the end of the month, which is why this is a little bit heavier this week, which means we can actually get to stuffing some sinking funds, which I'm very excited about. But first thing is first, we will start with our mini spending envelopes. And you'll notice that I only have my little spending wallet, spending wallet, a <laughs> spending envelope because my wife has already taken her $20. When we left the bank, she was itching to go to the gas station and she wanted some spending money. And I said, well, it's coming out of your 20 for the week. So here you go. Here's your 20, babe. Um, and so that is why my envelope will be getting 20. And I'm taking this really like old and um, not very beautiful 20 because I want to buy something like really small right away and then try to have all the rest of the money to save for rollover for my mini savings challenges. So that's what I hope to do with my 20. So we can set this aside because it is all set and we'll grab out my little A7 wallet and we will start with gas, which this week is getting $20. And I feel like I've seen this $20 before. Well, there's a lot of like stains on the money that I get at this bank. And I'm almost curious if I'm giving them cash and they're giving it right back to me like I'd be curious to see if the serial numbers are the same or like um yeah that's interesting okay so $20 for gas that is great so let me tell you guys about groceries this week so groceries is not getting stuff and the reason is this morning my wife had an appointment um up north close to the border um and so we after that appointment decided to go across the border to get some tim hortons and um we wanted some breakfast got a little coffee it was nice while we were there she wanted to stop at the grocery store in canada because she loves all of the food um, at the stores in Canada and we don't get to get that food all the time. We only get to have those things when we're in Canada, obviously. So she was really excited about being able to walk around the grocery store and get a few things to bring them home for our house here. And so I said, yes, you can absolutely do that, but it's coming out of the grocery budget for the week. So um, we had pulled that money, um, used that money on the debit card, which is why I did not have that money in the account to pull to cash stuff. So groceries for this week has already been spent we got um a lot of good stuff pizza pockets which are like these little it's kind of like a hot pocket i guess but it's like circular if any of you guys are from canada and you've had pizza pockets let me know but um they're really good it's kind of like softer and doughier and like I don't know. She loves them. And it's like a nostalgic thing for her. Um, and we also got some cheese curds. So we'll be doing like a poutine night and that's going to be really good as well. So excited for that. Um, household. So household this week is getting 50 and I'm going to give it a 50. 
So we need to get a few things for the cat. I think she's running low on litter and, um, and cat food this week. So that will go towards that. And then Starbucks this week is getting 20. So I will give it a 20. And there were no star, speaking of Starbucks, there were no Starbucks in, in my money. There were no star notes. So I usually sip through the, the money when I get back from the bank to look for star notes and there weren't any this week. But takeout this week is gonna be getting $40. So we will do 40. What is going on with this bill? Some of these bills have like weird writing on them. Look, more ink, see? That's like the second bill, but that's not the only bill that I've seen. I see so many bills that have this blue stain and I almost wonder if they're part of like a, you know when those they put those dye packs in the money? Like what if one of those exploded or something? All right, so 40 into takeout and date night is not getting anything, but car maintenance this week is. So I wanna try to be a little bit more consistent with stuffing some of my sinking funds and not just waiting until the end. Look, more dye, had to show you, more dye. Um, but anyways, and not just waiting until a savings challenge is complete to stuff sinking funds. So because of that, I'm gonna to try to hit this car maintenance envelope throughout the month if I can. So $20 is going into that. And then miscellaneous will get five this week. And that is going to do it for our little spending wallet. Perfect, so that is all set. Put this one away and let's grab out the bills binder and then we'll do sinking funds at the end. All right guys, so here is the bills binder and remember I tried not to close these. They kind of want to close themselves after so I guess it doesn't matter if I close them or not. All right, so we've got rent and rent as always is getting 113, so 110, 11, 12, 13. So 110, 11, 12, 13 going into rent, which means rent now has, has 1, 2, 53, 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 339 in rent, which is great. And I think I'm going to zip them because it doesn't really make that big of a difference. All right, so Kia this week is getting 150. And remember I was doing um, 600 for the car payment this month and using the rest towards my debt snowball to go towards paying down our last credit card. So with the 150 in, we have 1, 2, 53, 50, 70, 90, 4, 10, 30, 50. So 450 in Kia, which is perfect. And that one I will close and it's all set. And so AT&T this week is getting 40, so 20, 40. And can I just show you that there's like a little bit of ink right there? Guys, I'm going to point it out every time for this video, and then I swear I won't mention it again in any other video. All right, so 2040 going into AT&T. Wait, but what if I have a really good one and I want to mention it in another video? I might. I mean, I can't guarantee. Look, ink right there on that one too. All right, a little bit on that one. All right, I'm done. I swear. I promise. All right, AT&T has 2040, 60, 80, 120, so 120 in AT&T. And I don't know what I'm gonna do about this bill. I'm gonna need to like double this next month, I think, because um, they just told me that I can no longer, well, not that I can no longer, but that I can't have my discount if I'm charging my AT&T bill onto a credit card. And that's what I do with all my bills. I Anything that's like subscription or auto draw, I have it go on a credit card and at the end of the month after I've collected all the money, I pay the credit card back down to zero. So every month it goes down to zero. Um, but yeah, they said that my discount will go away unless it's pulling from a checking account. So what that means is I'm actually truly going to have to be a month ahead on this which right now with some of them, I'm not. So we'll see what happens if I double up next month. But for right now, that is fine. Progressive, we are hitting a little bit harder this month because I need to make sure that, so we're doing 2030. So I need to make sure that this is completely ready to be paid because August 18th is when this bill will um, auto draw out of my actual checking account. And so I wanna make sure all the money is there on the first. So that bill will be able to pull for six months. So Progressive now has 1, 2, 53, 20, 40, 60, 84 
ink uh, for 10, 20, 35 and more ink. <laughs> 435 I'm telling you something is going on at this bank <laughs> all right so that is good it just needs 465 so if I said 435 and then we get 30 more next week I'm right there so that is perfect so storage is getting its usual which is 32 I believe yes 32 so this is actually a really nice one. I'm sticking this in the way back because I don't want that to go back to the bank. Send the ugly ones back to the bank. All right, so 20, 30, one, two, $32 going into storage. And did I show that there was ink right there? Because if I didn't, I should have. <laughs> All right, so we have 32 going in, which brings us to... 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 96 in storage, which is perfect. And that one is all set. And so then we have subscriptions, and I believe this gets 35. Yes, it does. It gets 20, 30, and 5. So 20, 35 going into subscriptions. And that makes subscriptions... A total of 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100, and 5. <laughs> 105. All right, I don't know why I got tripped up there, but I did. My brain was thinking about all the ink. So subscriptions is all set. Credit cards, let's see. So credit cards is getting $30. And there's also always a lot of writing on these bills. Like I'm going to give it 20 and 30, but like there's writing there, there's writing there, there's writing there. That's wild. People just write on money. All right. So, and, and this stuff all shocks me because before cash stuffing, I used to just spend everything on a debit card and a, and a credit card. So like I never really had cash in hand that often to be able to like notice these things. But also there's ink there, just so you know. Case in case you didn't see it and you wanted me to point that out to you, I have done so. All right, so credit cards now has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. Oh, ink, 85, 90, more ink, <laughs> 90. $90 in credit cards. All right, this is the last video I will ever do this and I promise you. All right, so debt is getting 75 this week. So that is our debt snowball, which means we've paid things down to the point where $75 each week can go into this debt snowball, which will get rolled into the next credit card or next um, debt that we have. And so this is getting 75, so 50, 70, and five. So 50, 75. And with that, we have, all right, let me just pick up this money. All right, put this in place. Okay, so we have 51, 20, 40, 60, 82, 205, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So that's 215. And I, I believe we owed $5 into this from um, the savings. So we will make sure to do that this week. So the debt is all set aside from an extra $5 that I'm going to put into it from the savings, which I can just do now because my next folder is savings. So $5 of the savings is going into debt as well. And so that now has 51, 20, 40, 60, 82, 5, 10, 15, 17, 19, 20. So 220. This is actually still $5 shy. And I don't think it was from me pulling from the savings last week. Or maybe it was. I think I wrote down that I was only supposed to put 70 last week. And I was supposed to do 75. Um, and then we only did 65. Anyways, it's a whole thing. I still think this needs an extra $5. But for savings, I have $130 this week. And we just took five out of that. So that makes it 125 So let's give it... Oh, I want to look and see. So I said 320s. So those are 320s. And that one might be a little bit nicer. Mm, no, these are, these are pretty crispy. Those are fine. All right, so 320s four tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, four tens and five fives, but we already took 
five. So we get four. That's what we get. And we get five ones. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. All right. So all of this should be 125, which will be going into savings, which will go into savings challenges this week. Any savings challenge that I feel like playing. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to straighten these bills out. Okay, so savings now has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 125 is correct. And I'm not going to pull an extra five out of this to put to the debt next week when I stuff. Instead of doing 75, I'm going to try to remember to do 80. That way this will be the full 300, which is what it needs to be for the debt snowball. Um, so yeah, 125 into savings challenges is pretty exciting. And I'm not sure when I'm going to pull that and play some saving challenges. But when I do, it will be fun because that's my favorite thing to do. All right, so let's get into these sinking funds, which I'm very excited we are actually stuffing this week. And first thing is first, coffee needs $20. And this is for us to be able to um, buy Nespresso. So we do drink Starbucks sometimes. And actually, if we don't go to Starbucks or Dunkin' this week, I'm gonna put that 20 in here as well, um, just because we have been really using our Nespresso a lot more lately. So I definitely wanna try to stuff this every week if I can so that we can place those orders. Okay, so travel is actually going to get 20 and we just came back from um, our weekend in Maine, which was really nice and it was so good to get away and our son went to a birthday party for um, one of his little friends. It was like the cutest stinking thing. My friend, she goes all out and she just makes beautiful decorations and she just themes everything so well. It was just really fun and Finn had a great time. So that was awesome. Um, I don't have anything planned for August, but I would like to slowly start to build this up again. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, there's a little bit of ink right there on that bill. Okay, next one is gonna be car maintenance and we already stuffed the car maintenance money into this little binder. And so um, honestly, I can put it there. It doesn't really matter. Um, but I just didn't wanna have to color in one of those things. But why don't I just put it in the right place because it's safer if it goes in here, but I just think that little A7 wallet is so stinking cute. Did I already tell you there was ink on that one? All right, the 20 is going in its rightful place of car maintenance, but I'm not gonna color in a little $5. Actually, guys, I can color one if I take $5 from savings. This is so like me. If you guys have followed me for any length of time, you might know that I have a tendency to be extremely spontaneous, to be extremely, um, some would say indecisive. You might say indecisive. Um, so savings, yes, uh, took $5. That has 120. The five is going in to car maintenance. And that way I can actually color in a symbol and we can continue to collect um, in the sinking fund. Yeah, so I'm super like, I don't know what to say other than just spontaneous and I change my mind a lot. And you know what, guys, it just makes, it makes my life fun. So I'm not mad about it. Just makes everything a little bit more exciting because you never know what's gonna happen. All right, so that is car maintenance. That is all set. We got to color in another icon and perfect. So then the next thing we're gonna do is birthday. And birthday this week is getting 100. So we're gonna do two. Oh, these are cool. Look at these. These are track this bill. Where's George? Oh, I wish I, I wish I wasn't filming on my phone and then I could actually look at this and tell you where this bill has been. But I'm filming on my phone and I can't. So we have 50 and 100. Maybe I'll do that like later. Oh, you know what I'll do? I'll probably do that when I stop filming and then I could like insert something here. You might see words. You might, you might not. So $100 is going into birthday and this now has 50, 1, 20, 40, 60. So $160 in birthday, which is great and is probably more than enough to be able to do everything that we need to do for our son's birthday, which is coming up in August. And because I put in $100 and these are worth 20, I get to color in five birthday cakes, five birthday cakes. So let me quickly do that and then I will cut to me 
completing this tracker. Alrighty, so all of my birthday cakes are colored in. We have $160 worth of birthday cakes. Perfect, that is all set. So birthday is done. So the next thing we're gonna do is just put $10 in each one of our envelopes. So we've got my wife's, mine, and my son's. Oh, sorry if you just heard my dog's little collar. No worries, but $10 in my wife's envelope. With the 10 down in there, we have $20 in her envelope, and then mine will get 10 as well and we'll have $20 in my envelope. Starting to slowly build these back up, and like I said, I'm gonna try to be more consistent with sinking funds, but I just don't always get to them every week. And so 10, 20 in my sons with the 10 added in. Oh, a little bit of ink right there on that bill. <laughs> and um, household is going to take this last 50. And this last 50 has a little bit of ink right there. I kind of want to in editing, like put a tally of how many times I said there's ink on a bill in this video, just to see how many bills actually had ink on them. Okay, so that is good. Household has $50. And this is a household sinking fund to be able to buy like things for the house and not just normal toiletries that we buy. Um, and then I'm going to do $10 into medical and I'm also going to do $10 into pets and there's a little bit of ink on that bill right there and that is going to do it guys. So we stuffed every single sinking fund that I had with a little bit of something and that feels really good. Um, and then I've got some money this week to be able to do some savings challenges, which is super exciting. So my next video will probably be a savings challenge. So make sure you guys are subscribed if you are not already. And that is going to be it for today's video. So other than that, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.